Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. In the SEC, there is one certainty. You never get a rest. You never get a chance to catch your breath. If you don't believe it, just try taking your C game or something to a place like Lexington or Nashville or Starkville. You know what will happen? You'll walk out with a loss. You have to bring your best in every single game in the SEC. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. of some of the finest football over three quarters of a century is where we find ourselves today. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams are lining up for the kickoff. We're just about set to get this one underway. And with that, we kick off our season. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 19-yard line. Cody's mental toughness makes him difficult to rattle when he's on the road. And here he is now, Kirk, taking the field for the first time today. Let's see how he does. And not only does this guy not get rattled, but he's also a guy that seems to have an uncanny ability to quiet a crowd by making such big plays. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Accuracy is such a vital part of being a quarterback. You've got to have an ability to lay the ball right into your guy's hands. So it's second and 10, ball on the 19-yard line. Dumps it complete over the middle. And he's tackled at the 19. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. Boy, the defense is very fortunate that the tight end was not able to make that catch. The last thing you want to see as a safety or a linebacker is a big, strong, athletic tight end with a catch and with a lot of steam built up. Nobody wants to have to make that tackle. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 44-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 44 yard line. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. He had a couple of freight trains coming at him, but when they blitzed, it created a hole in the coverage and they took advantage of it. the 35. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. First and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. They come out in an empty backfield. With the pass, incomplete. That makes it second and 10. He's at the 20. 
He gets hit out of bounds at about the 11. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs, just pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. First and 10, all on the 11. After a decent pickup, the Bulldogs were really excited when they got this guy. They expect him to be a future star, a top recruit, a great talent. And there's tackle number one. Come on, baby. Let's see what you got. Check 91. 91 is the play. Mike, go. And he is drilled at the two. Gain of two on the play. That'll make it third and one. Here's the eighth play of the series. Here we go, here we go. Tied right, tied right. Three down, three down. Oh, it's just four. Throws, and he's got a man. Touchdown. He tacks on the extra point. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. An altogether unpleasant occurrence in Mount Pleasant. And for Central Michigan, their season starts with a win. Central Michigan gets a W, taking the game by 13. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Arkansas lines up for the kickoff. Stewart takes it to 12. Across midfield, and he's shoved out of bounds around the 46-yard line. The Razorbacks are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Down he goes, around the 36-yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Zips it right. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. on the corner. Runs it right. Nice pickup. First down. From the 32-yard line. First down. He's got it with room to run. Throws it in a hurry. He's knocked out of bounds at the 27-yard line. Looking for the corner, Sanders on the handoff. Tackle around the 19-yard line. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. It's first and 10, ball on the 19-yard line. yardage. Well, this is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player, because not only is it a negative play, but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game. Just looking down and looking at the energy on the field and even on the sidelines, you can see that the defense is fired up after that play. Caught and a big hit. He stopped in his tracks. They'll line it up again on third down. They'll spread the field with five wide. And they make.
make the stop. Hit denied. Hey, it's a, it's a first down for this offense that keeps everybody enthusiastic. You can see the momentum that this offense is gaining. The coaches and the players on the sideline are fired up, and hey, it's a new set of downs. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Slings it right, and it falls incomplete. I mean, he has his wide receiver wide open. You spend all those hours during the week to be able to get prepped and ready to go. You've got an open man like this. Just step and deliver and make the throw. Ball inside the 10-yard line. Second down. And they'll get him in the backfield. A tight, low-scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. The Razorbacks lead 7-0. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. It's up, and it is good. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Arkansas holds a four-point lead. Decent run here, right side. From their own 31 yard line. Second down. Quick throw out to the receiver. Brought down at the 49 yard line. From the 49-yard line, it's first down. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's taken down around the 43-yard line. That brings him second and five. Swings it out there incomplete. From the 43 yard line, it's third down. And they got him. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Arkansas is up by four. And he's taken down at the 21. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Ready? 
Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 36. They'll bring him down at the 46. That's a game of 10 on the play. First down. rid of this one. From their own 46-yard line, it's second down. Here they come. And he's level at the 32. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. From the 32-yard line, first down. He's at the 20. Gains his way to the 13-yard line. Get six yards on the carry. Georgia's going to take their first time out of the half. They're about four yards away here on second down. Touchdown, Bulldogs. He really plowed his way into the end zone there. Great looking touchdown. Once you get inside the 10 yard line, this halfback is automatic. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three point lead with this extra point. He makes the PAT. So a seven play, 78 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. The score now 10 7. Brought down at the 26. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. 91 is the mic. Come on, D. And he's taken down at about the 49. yard line first down the offense going to try to open this field up coming out in a five wide set and the defense counters with their dime look finds his man and they take him down immediately he ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage it's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense it can open things up for the big play Gets out to around the 35. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35. Zips it left. And it's incomplete. Hollis was the intended receiver on the way. That makes it second and 10. Just throws this one away. 
Third down now, and they need to get it to the 25. Deep ball, laying it out there. Almost picked off. Dixon awaits the snap. It's away, short punt. Cody's success running the football, Kirk, has put his team in a great spot right now. They're really controlling the game. Yeah, we expected him to have this kind of game, and he's not really disappointed us in any way. His performance right now, you think, is inspiring his entire team. If they can carry this momentum into the second half, there's really no reason they shouldn't win this game. Georgia is up by three. From their own six-yard line. Second down. Steps out of bounds. Right around the six-yard line. his way out to about the 15 and it was not meant to be on that drive they just had too many yards to go it's doable in some cases but most defenses don't give up long running plays on third down Owen is the punter tackle at the 43 so he got a little on that return. Well, Brad, early it looked like there was an opening there, but the seam closed quickly. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. the 18 yard line even though they didn't sack him the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass if you can get in there and disrupt the pocket then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers to the end zone throws to the receiver got it for the touchdown Splits the uprights with the extra point. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? The Seminoles entered today's game ranked 22nd, but no one. They were in danger of falling out to the top 25. And for FSU, they look to start their season off on the right foot. A touchdown apiece, 7-7. We're at 14-10 in this one, Reese. Harris has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Well, we've played a half of football. The Razorbacks lead it by four. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. So far, so good for both offenses in terms of taking care of the football, but now the defenses are ramping up the sense of urgency in terms of trying to get the ball back from their offense. Uh, absolutely, and you got to find Reese. These ball hawks on defense, they need to find the football. They need to make some big plays, create some turnovers. How about using that hit stick a little bit? How about knocking somebody silly and making them drop the football? I mean, 
defense's number one priority is trying to turn the football over, try to make a big explosive play for your offense so, so they can do more damage and they can take the ball down the field. So those ball hawks need to show themselves in the second half. That's going to do it at halftime, just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, brother. I'm going to get some in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. But, look, wait, don't leave until you get my order. Brad Kirk, take the second half. Great first half and a tight ball game, and we're set to start quarter number three. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. So we're just about ready to return to action. Arkansas is up four. Gain as he works the right side. That's good for a of four yards. That makes it second and six. From their own 29 yard line, it's second down. Slings it, and down he goes at about the 43 yard line. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. Second and 13. Ball on their own 40. Throws it deep. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. That'll make it third and 13. Three down, three down. Mike, 55. Right there in the middle. 55. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And he shoved out of bounds around the 40 yard line. From the 40-yard line, it's first down. Arkansas holds a four-point lead. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. Second down and eight. Ball on the 19 yard line. He makes it to the 18 yard line. That's a team of one on the play. That makes it 37. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Throws it away. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. The kick is up, and the field goal is good. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The Seminoles take the field as the 22nd ranked team in the land. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. The Seminoles have the perfect connection and a touchdown. All locked up, two touchdowns apiece. Touchdown difference, Reese, 17 to 10 here. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. 
He'll return it from the four-yard line. And down he goes at the 30-yard line. Arkansas is the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. Tipped away. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. Straight run here, and he's got nowhere to go. He's really quick with his lateral movement, especially for a guy this big. He got to the ball carrier before he could get out of the backfield. yard line. First down. From their own 48 yard line. First down. Here's the pitch left side. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That brings him second and five. Across the middle, tight end's got it. And they make the stop at the 32-yard line. That makes it first and ten. From the 32-yard line, first down. And he's hit immediately. Freeman brings his down at the 23-yard line. That brings up second and one. From the 19 yard line, it's first down. He's tackled at the 11. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. That brings up second and one. It's the ninth play of the drive. made the 13-yard line. So with one quarter remaining, Arkansas leads it 17-10. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. We're still early in the fourth quarter, but that was a huge stop. And now with the lead, they're going to get the football back and an opportunity to stretch the lead. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a game of four on the That makes it first. This is the 12th play of this drive. Carries the ball for a nice game. Call the game of six yards. That brings him second and goal. From the one yard line. Second down. Our time. It's our time. Find the mic. Find the mic. 
Sanders on the run. They'll bring him down just outside the goal line. This is the 14th play of this drive. Touchdown, Bulldogs. It takes a lot of strength to run it when you're heading into a massive pile of bodies. Good job of holding on to it and getting it across the goal line. Will be tied with the extra point. And he hits the PAT. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The Wildcats take the field today just barely hanging on to a spot in the top 25 at number 25. And for Arizona, they reach the end zone with a scintillating run. The Wildcats have the lead, 7-0. Thanks, Reese. We're tied at 17 here. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. It's fielded at the two. He's taken down at the 33-yard line. And you know, it's basically like we're starting from zero here in a one-quarter game now. Every possession is vital. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signals straight. Hey, defense, let's go. Pick it up. Dude. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Tackle at about the 45. under pressure and he's taken down at the 33 from the 33 yard line first down just under three to go in regulation. That's a great tackle at the 30. Gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Watch 32, watch 32. You're not ready. Go! Just throws this one away. Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Got a man. Watch out here. And he's tackled around the five-yard line. Fourth quarter all tied up. What's it going to be? And he hits him hard at the four. That brings him second and goal. This is the eighth play of this drive. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown.
Looks like they didn't get the playoff quick enough. Tacks on the extra point. An eight play, 67 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Stewart from the seven. George's plan today was to keep it in his hands. He has come through for him to this point, and now he's got a chance to maybe ice it. Yep, they're going to try to find a way to get him the football in space. It's going to be up to the defense to have at least two defenders near him to prevent that big play. It's going to be exciting to see how this game finishes up. They'll spread the field with five wide. Catches it, and that's all. Pulls it in, and that's a first down. Georgia's got some new faces on the roster that they're expecting some big things from, partner. And, you know, that's what's great about college football. New faces every year, unexpected stars, and the newcomers that kind of splash onto the scene. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Caught in a big hit. He's stopped in his tracks. That makes it second and six. complete and he's hit right away the Bulldogs taking their first time out of the half three maybe four yards on the pass you know little passes like this force the defense to start to come up then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up gets it out to his receiver in a hurry and that was such a good job of reading the coverage and knowing where his receivers were any coach in the country would be thrilled to see that kind of composure, especially on third down. He throws a dart to the right. This one will fall incomplete. It's second and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. the catch and look out spectacular play and now it's first and goal throws it in a hurry and down he goes at the two-yard line and he stops the clock with a spike. Here it is, folks. Third and goal from the two. Caught end zone for the touchdown. George has been telling anybody that would listen that this kid really has what it takes to be a star. He's always going to remember that first touchdown. I'm sure he's going to have a lot more. Great moment, though, for him and his family. The extra point to tie this game up. He makes the PAT late in the fourth quarter, and with that score, we are now tied. And the way things are going, we might be going to an extra session or two. Georgia lines up for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. 
Brought down at the 31 yard line. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. Late in the fourth quarter now, game is tied. Which coach can outcoach the other? It's a chess match right now. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He's to the 40. He's taken down at the 40. The Razorbacks will use their first time out of the half. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. Complete. Brought down around the 46-yard line. The Razorbacks are going to call their second time out. They'll have one more chance for the end zone. He's going to go for the home run. Missed him. As a defender, you want to keep your hands up. Maybe you can come away with the pick or at least the flex the ball. Second and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. He lets it fly. Doesn't get there. That's the end of the fourth quarter, and we are headed to overtime. Well, we played an hour, and it's still not enough. We're set to kick off here in overtime. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. I love to see a confident quarterback, but you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith in your throws. You need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you release the football. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 28. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And they make the stop at about the 13. Brings him down at the 13-yard line. First down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 13. After a decent pickup. That makes it second and six. Man, left, man, left. Go down, go down. Find the bike, find the bike. He fights forward to about the seven. From the seven yard line. Third down. Got a man in and out of his hands. Johnson says he's intended to see him on the play. That'll bring up four people. The kick is up, and he got it. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Seminoles for rank 22nd. A win's a win's a win. Remains to be seen if this one impresses the pollsters. And for FSU, they start the season with a victory. Weaver's command of the passing game was on full display. He had a couple of touchdown passes. The Seminoles claim the W, 21-14. Reese were separated by a field goal here, 27-24. From the 25-yard line, it's first down. They come out in a five-wide set. Ready! Deep pass to the end zone. Caught. Game over. What a great play. Tremendous effort to take advantage of the defense holding them to a field goal. They knew they were going to have a chance to win this, and they came through. Just a fantastic finish.
And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, Arkansas 30, Georgia 27. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.